five, four, three, two, one. This is the doctor bringing you set four of KT Roaster vs. Air Force Ace. Uh, Air Force Ace actually up two to one over uh, KT here. We have action as the Red Zerg at the um, uh, one o'clock position playing for KT, and we have Kanata as the Blue Terran at the seven o'clock playing for Air Force Ace. Kanata used to be a Terran on SKT one. He uh, did fairly well. He's got a fifty-one percent win rate against Zerg. On the other hand, Action uh, not that great. He's only got a forty-three percent win rate against Terran. Uh, Kanata, one of the more reliable Terran players, at least in the pro league back in the day. Um, so. Uh, action, on the other hand, has failed to impress, and I don't know why KT is sending out so many Zergs. Uh, first, yeah, all all of whom are mediocre. You got your Hojas and your um, your your uh, crazy Hydras, not the best. I guess they don't really have much of a choice. They have Flash, they have stats. Violet is on medical leave. I think yes. Uh, well, he has some sort of cancer, I believe. Um, that's terrible stuff. It uh, looks like Kanata putting down a barracks there, and a early refinery, he's going for some sort of mech build, uh, interestingly enough. We'll see how um, this Zerg player here, Action, decides to respond to this. Here's the other thing, too. Um, because because these Zergs have Flash to play against in practice. You imagine with Flash sort of giving them pointers there uh, on how you may be able to defeat Terrans, they should be doing fine, but I don't know what their deal is. Perhaps uh, facing off against Terrans just just is actually counterproductive because it brings back memories of Flash destroying them 20 games in a row in practice, or something like that, that traumatizes them. Kanata not producing any SEVs. This is this is interesting. Another uh, tricky play here from a first ace player. He's putting down Proxy Factory. Very clever coming here from Kanata. We'll see how this works. I suspect it should work quite well. He stopped mining gas. He just mined enough to build the the um the 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 factory. In fact, he didn't even put down a supply depot. This is like the fastest factory uh, proxy rush you can have. A very very interesting move here by Kanata. This is what I mean. These Air Force Ace players uh, always coming up with something clever to do. Um, creative cheese. Uh, as it were. So, let's see whether uh, Action can scout this out. If he can scout it out and put down Sunken, he'll be fine. If uh, he needs to put down Sunken probably in his main and as his expansion, it is not a problem for his economy since he'll still be considerably superior to Kanata's. What he needs to do though is scout this out. If Action puts down a third hatchery, oh I don't know about that. He is scouting his base for proxy. Uh, he does smell something coming up, but, but he needs to scout the, um, uh, well, scout more for a proxy there. If he was just checking his base, that's not going to work out too well from him, uh, for him, rather. Kanata with a vulture out already. Surely the second one's already building. This vulture is going to be able to sneak in and start picking off a drone or two. Uh, there are some links coming out. Kanata should be able to micro and do fine against this. Ooh, careful! Ah, Kanata losing his vulture to, to rather poor micro there, getting surrounded by links and getting destroyed. Kan things are not going well for Kanata in this game at all. I feel he really need that first vulture to do some serious damage. Uh, he is managing to stop action from mining with his six drones here, uh, which is good. He's starting to pick away at some of these drones. Uh, looks like one drone goes down. Uh, Sunken finishes, though. Two drones dying, um, but I don't think that was quite the damage Kanata was hoping to accomplish. Uh, Hydralis stand down for, for action there already, so I would say action has held off that attack reasonably well. He's out of sunken down for defense, he's got some lings for blockade. He just needs to be careful and not not uh, have his blockade broken. Kanata is flowing the factory into uh, Action's base. Maybe he's hoping to build a few more vultures there. I don't think that's going to bother Action. If he can just move one thing over there, he can prevent it from landing. Uh, so, uh, well, it remains to be seen whether Action is capable of doing something like that, though. Uh, Hydralis out for action. He's going to be able to ward await these vultures. I think the vultures would be wise to retreat at this point instead of uh, pushing on against these hydras. Vultures not too great against hydras without mines. Uh, so Kanata, I feel, would be silly to lose those a little early. It looks like 
action did not stop the factory uh, kind of si from landing, kind of silly on his part. Now Kanata building another ultra. Uh, if Action can move his Lings in position to intercept, that would be fine. If, on the other hand, Action is an idiot and lets Kanata get Vultures into his main base, that would be a disaster of un... Uh, wow, it would be a massive, massive disaster, basically. Fortunately for Action here, Kanata's Vulture is stuck in that little uh, just cul-de-sac and unable to get out. So, so it's not going to bother Action too much. Uh, Kanata is transitioning to Medic Marines. He put down two barracks in his uh, main base, so he might be getting a few more. Ooh, looks like Kanata with a clever vulture sneaking. He needs to land the barracks again. Land, uh, not rather, factory, factory lands. Uh, there's only four lings in uh, Action's main base. They have speed upgrade. I think they'll be able to take care of this vulture. There's six lings now, and the factory is getting picked away now. So Kanata, um, I thought his uh, build was very clever. It's just unfortunate that his execution wasn't too great. I chalked that up to the lack of practice time on Air Force Ace. Can't really blame him too much. Uh, nevertheless, I like what Kanata is doing. Action is in a good position, though. Surely that's his spire morphing right there. So he's going to be able to get some Mulus out. Kanata has transitioned to Mag Marines, as you can see. Uh, so he should be fine for any sort of Mulus attack. Mag Marines also very good against Hydralis. So, so that's actually a reasonable sort of uh, transition coming from Kanata. I like to see this sort of unconventional play. Kanata is also floating out a second command center. This Vulture getting 7 kills! I don't know why Action hasn't finished off this Vulture. Rather poor control on his part, finally taking on the Vulture, losing an unnecessary number of Zerglings, I feel. And for some reason, Action bringing a drone out to the front. Uh, is he hoping to put down a proxy factory, or is that just a mistake? Now Action has scouted everything that Kanata is doing with this Zergling, so I think Action is going to be ready uh, for this, even picking off a building SCV there. Good job by Action. He's got some Mulus out. Uh, not quite enough. I think that's only three or four. Uh, his economy has been disrupted, though. Action doesn't seem to have too many drones for some reason. Um, Action coming in here with his Mulus, picking away at the building SCV, but there are so few, it took like four volleys to kill that SCV. So, this isn't going to be any sort of effectual Mulus harass until he masses up a few more Mulus. Uh, action with so few drones! I think he may only have a little more than a dozen drones at both his bases combined. That would be... that would be a mistake. I think Action needs to focus a bit more on his economy here. He's not going to be able to finish Kanata off now that he uh, Kanata has transitioned to Meg Marines like this. You know, if he gets some more drones, put down the third base, he can defend comfortably and tr beat Kanata in the economic game here. I don't know what what uh, Action is doing here. He's put down two uh, Hunkins, two more Hunkins at his front. Uh, he'll be fine against any sort of Mech Marine push. His uh, Mulus are running rampant in Kanata's main, picking off SCVs left and right. If he can kill a good number of these SCVs, uh, he'll have even up the economic score. However, uh, Action now has position over Kanata's medic, uh, rather barracks here. Uh, that's also good. You can stop reinforcements, basically. That that works out great. And I don't think Kanata is going to be able to break here. There are too many Sunkins. So I would say Kanata has probably lost this game at this point. Uh, good job by Action. Apparently he knows more than I do. It's not impossible, I think, for Kanata to come back. If he moves his Medic Marines back, he may yet be able to clear out the Mulus. Uh, and he has a good number of SEVs at his natural. They're still mining a lot of minerals. I don't think Kanata's out of this game. I think Action would be wise to take this opportunity to get his economy up and not necessarily press this sort of military advantage. We shall see, though. Action looks like he's uh, using some of these mules to pick away at the Mech Marines that are coming back to try to save Kanata's base here. Action persisting with building pure mules. Uh, no economy, so to speak, for action here. He's going to get this done on Mulus alone. He has a large number of Mulus now, and Kanata's Meg Marine Force is looking puny by comparison. Uh, looks like he only has perhaps a dozen Meg Marines. Action with reasonably good Mulus Micro, taking advantage of the Marines' lack of mobilities here. Uh, so action doing fairly well. Still, I am not sure whether I agree completely with Action's choice here. Uh, he's probably going to win anyway. I would say he's probably got an 80% chance of winning. 
but if Kanata can get a few more turrets up around his main base and his natural base and, and pull his barracks back there, he'll be able to hold out for a bit more. And action, because of his crappy-ass economy, he can't really afford to get anything else other than Mulas. You see, he's not building Zerglings, he's not building Lurkers. All he's building is Mulas. He got two drones at the natural and like eight drones at the main. That's like ten drones. I really don't know about this action. Um... This isn't a time to go for heroics. You don't want to play handicapped, even against Air Force Ace players. You know, that sort of disdain for your opponent um, is, is very dangerous here. You don't want to be arrogant. And I think Action is just being extremely arrogant here. I mean, he's had forever to drone up, get his third base, and then crush Kanata in a, you know, lurker attack. Or, you know, if he wants to go to the late game, the fighter swarm attack doesn't matter what you do, I think action would be fine. But Kanata has actually regained control from his main base. He's put down quite a few more barracks. He's been mining this entire time uh, from uh, his natural base, and now he's reestablished mining in the main. He's fine in terms of economy now. Uh, Terran notoriously hard to kill off, which is the problem. Action, seriously, he's got like seven drones or ten drones in the main. This is kind of ridiculous. Action, bringing his links to pick off some of these turrets. Reasonable little attack here. Uh, looks like he's going to try to pick off a second missile turret, but failing due to Kanata's clutch repair there. And Action is now in serious trouble. Um, he didn't quite do the damage he needed to do with these melees. He needed to finish off Kanata, but he didn't. And in his arrogance or pride or whatever, or poor decision making, I don't care what you call it. Now, now action, you have 80% chance to win this game. He's probably got like a 20% chance of winning this game. Ugh, so disappointing. Perhaps he fancies himself as Jadong. Jadong would be able to get it done with Mutilus, with his ungodly uh, Mutamicro. But this, this kid action here is no Jadong. Uh, action's got, uh, see, he's got four sunkins at his natural for defense. He's not worried about any sort of frontal break. I don't understand why he re refuses to drone up. Uh, he's built a few more drones now, but but not really many more. He's built like two or three more drones, I feel, getting one of his overlords picked off. In fact, that's going to be a pretty big loss to action. A Kanata with tons of turrets in his main and natural. He's not going to be worried about these mealists. Uh, the Medic Marines are 1-1 one, one upgraded now. I believe that Kanata is likely to press ahead with uh, attack on Action's uh, natural here. Uh, fortunately for Action, he's managed to find a position here in Kanata's base and start harassing away and picking off at these SEVs. But Action, he's... I don't know whether he can actually hold. 1-1 one, one upgraded Medic Marines can do well against Sunken since it takes three hits from Sunkins to actually kill the Marines. That one armor upgrade makes a big difference. There are five Sunkins now, but they are not killing the Medic Marines with any sort of speed. And this is GG. This is why you need a Lurker or some Lings there. And, and I think Kanata is going to take this game. Absolutely bizarre play from Action here is what I have to say. I don't know why he refused to get an economy. Action looking extremely upset there. And, uh, you know, he deserves... This defeat, uh, there is no excuse for his play this game. Kanata with a well-earned victory, refusing to give up and winning for his team. Good job for Air Force Ace.